time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey, everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, June 6th. Hope everybody's doing well. S&P down four, NASDAQ down seven, Russell down 14, Dow just went green, S&P looking like it's looking for its late day bounce like it has the last four days in a row. Uh, let's see, gold is a little bit green, silver's up four and a half percent, notes and bonds both a little bit green, 10 year yield down 0.2%, oil up 2%, natural gas up two and a half. Soybeans up two, corn up three, wheat down one, euro and the pound a little bit green, Bitcoin a little bit red. VIX staying a little bit green on the day, up uh, a little over half percent from yesterday's close, sitting at 12.71. So here's what I've got going today. My uh, my morning three, two and morning one, one. In this account, uh, got reduced at 30% and then stopped out. Several price action trades uh, hit some profit targets and then got stopped out. There's one, two, three, four of those. And then uh, fifth one hit 20%, got stopped out for a small loss. Uh, one of my rut hedges is in the valley. It's losing. My vertical with a put kicker is down a couple thousand. My two DTEs up 13%. My one DTEs up 20%. My rut hedge from this morning, a little bit red. And then I'm in uh, two price action trades. One already hit 20% and one is tiny red. On my challenge portfolio, three, two, and one, one, uh, hit 30% and then stopped. Round two, same thing, hit 30% and then stopped. My one DTE is up 21%. And then I'm in my current three, two, and one, one. Both of those were getting very close to hitting 30%. And then price pushed like it is right now. So that's going to need to settle down. I'm on the 35 and 45s on both of those. So I needed to settle back down under 50 for those to hit. So that is my day. All right. Mine was going mine's going pretty good, although this push up is not helping my power hour trade that I have on. So but I have booked um twenty forty and out, twenty forty and out on two trades. <clears throat> so that big push down stopped me out of both those. Otherwise those would have been uh, much better winners, but they're both. Crew. And uh, I was, I was probably twenty cents from booking twenty percent on my power hour trade, and now it's off center to the right, to the upside. So I've got to see it settle down before I uh, add to it. Although you know where it's at, it needs. Uh, I'll add to it, but I'm not going to add to it if it's just going to keep going straight up. Uh, the, the, the bounce is helping my one DTE. Uh, I've got an order in at nine 30 and I, and I did the, did the $7 one, the back test of one that you, that you do. What, 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 what's your one DTE strikes? Yeah. Seven bucks, 60 wide. Yeah. What, what strikes are you on? Oh, I am on the 15 puts, 90 calls. Same here. Exactly. I'm, same here. So, um, I got a nine. I got a nine thirty order in to close it 
a half at 25% and it's currently at 1050. So it's a dollar 20 away from 25%. So that's it for me. Yeah, a little pullback under 50 would do do really good for me. Yeah, I don't that 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 drop down. I man, that happened quick. And uh, you know, the whole big conversation about the stops. Um, I, I did the just a regular stop like that and butterfly show she does, and um it stopped them out correctly because As quickly as that went down, I would assume that if I would have done it with the trailing stop, I might have had some slippage. So I was, so you're using I was a happy fixed to stop, see but you're such... just manually pushing it down. Yeah. So I did the fix. So, um, for example, um, what was my first trade here? So at five dollars and thirty cents was my AM number one. So. I'm still doing 75%. Uh, so at five, so my my first stop would have been 530. So my profit target is 425 and my stop is four dollars. So I just so so I added four dollars to my 530, which was my fill price. And so 930 was my first stop. And then once I hit 20%, then I went to my next. stop would have been at 320 so i just i added it to you know my last fill was 425 my 20 was 425 so then i added my next does that make sense yep i'm adding it into i'm at, i'm still following the 75 percent of your last fill that's just a regular bid stop and you know when you do a bid stop you're not putting in like plus four you actually have to put in the the actual stop like Right. So I just, I just add it at what, what, what's, you know, I add it together and it's, then I put that number in. And so that's, so, you, so you're still ratcheting down when you get filled, yes. but you're, but, but it's not trailing. Right. That's what I did today. And they both didn't have the, uh, they didn't have that um, slippage. And, it, you know, like if you look, look at that drop, it was like a, it was a huge drop. Right. You know, so like that's exactly what happens, and that's what causes slippage is big drops like that. So I'm gonna keep just you know that's this is day one of trying that. It works twice. Um, you know, I'll do that again tomorrow. I'm gonna do it until I can get some type of idea that Schwab has fixed this, right? You know, you know like people can say oh, all you want, like, well, you're gonna have a little bit of slippage. I I understand that, but consistently, you know. I just, you don't have that much slippage this frequent this frequent. The only difference there is you are since it's not trailing you know if it sits there a while you're going to have a bigger loss on your stop unless you I mean, mainly it move it in. While. Yep. Right cuz it's not trailing automatically. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It's not like it's not um coming down. You know, like as price is moving, it's not following it. Right, right. <clears throat> so you could, I mean, if you're sitting there watching it anyway, you could, you could manually adjust it down every, you know, when it moves every 25 cents in your favor or something like that. Yeah, you could. That's, that's a thought. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dick K. We don't have this market very frequently either. Yeah, it's super, June's super been some wild, wild swings. SPX I mean, just, did open and hit a new all-time high this morning before retreating. Starting to calm down here a little bit. If I can get another, if it doesn't, if it doesn't push up above this consolidation, I'll add a, or not consolidation, but this kind of level where it's 
it got rejected already. I'm gonna then I, I'll think about adding a second hero. I want to see some consolidation here. I just added on the forty five fifty fives. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking at myself. And I actually just noticed my uh my trailing stop and trade steward did not trigger. I don't know if anybody else noticed that if you're using trade steward and doing a kind of a similar types uh, method as Chad, but like on one of my price action trades, I noticed today that when I would reduce my trailing stop after it hit the first profit target, it, uh, it showed up correctly. But then when I would reduce it a second or try to reduce it a second or third time, it would not update correctly. So I have not reported that yet, but. Keep your eye on that. Same thing. Okay. And then and then the, the trailing stop that I have on on one of them, I reduced it just once after I hit a profit target. And then price pushed through that on this up move. I just noticed, but it did not trigger. So I'm just kind of watching it now because it's back. It ended up bouncing back into below that stop but if it pushes up again i'll just have to manually close it i guess i haven't dick k i haven't looked in the trade steward discord did had that been reported yet I'll do it after the bell, if not. So here's my current profit bubble between 45 and 50 would be ideal. Dick, are you doing any uh, webhook stuff? With trading steward and with trade steward and uh, trading view, I've been testing one on my on this price action trade this week, and I'm I'm liking it so far. The only issue I've had is it doesn't it doesn't try multiple it, it doesn't try very many times. Like if you get a partial fill and then it has to do a, like a cancel replace, it only tries a couple times. So I've had a couple situations where. Let's say I was trying to do five contracts and two filled, and then it tried a couple of times, then it would stop. And so I would only get filled on a partial. Is anyone else using? Uh, well, it's, it's a, I, I was going back and forth with Jordan on it. Um, and he has to, he has to look into it, but um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if that's a parameter that he has it set 
to a limited number of tries, or I, I'm not sure what that is yet. But it's happened uh, two or three times this week. So I just got in the 5355s, 5350 calls puts. Yeah, so my trailing stop's not triggering, so I'm just manually closing this one. Getting another little bounce. All right, yeah, let's chop for a little bit. Fifty three fifty would be good for me. Multiple brokers opt for dollar, I think would be the only option there. Well, that's a good problem to have, my friend. <laughs> Go buy some real estate. Chad, you got in the 4555s? Chad, are you there? No, I got in the 5055s. Oh, okay. I was just curious because I got a $4.65 fill on mine. It's pretty low. Are we really going to have a fifth day in a row of a down move followed by a late day rally? I hope not. Really? Five in a row.
was up, uh, let's see, my challenge portfolio peaked. It was up about 3.8% on the day. It's currently up about 2.7. We get a little down move. It'll be in really good shape. If we rip up and I get stopped out on my last two re-entries, it will go red. Yeah, my power hour one needs some down movement. Uh, down movement or some pretty quick faded decay? At the money, 55 butterflies trading for about a buck. <clears throat> you know, I, today on my AM number one, you know, it got off center as it moved down. And it was that my short strike. And with when it started to bounce... It, you know, it finally hit 20%. And literally by the time I got it, got in my 40% um, order, like it was a minute or two and it hit 40% that quick. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. I like balance. I'm a big fan of balance right now. That looks like uh, one of those charts that Daedalus shares. The Decay just shared. Yeah, it's called Book Map. It's, uh, okay. it's on TOS. I think there's a free version and then a, a paid version as well. Here's a little red bar. Come on down. About to hit 20%. There it is. Yep, needed that red bar. Under 50 would be even better. There we go. I'm close to hitting 20% of my other one. Yeah, I just hit 20% on one of them. It's the 5035s. So that'd be my power hour number one. By the way, if you're new, today is what I would consider a neutral day because it's not up or down, at least a half percent. And so 
for power hour. I'm just trading more discretionary, not not any of the three tranche approaches. I have not decay. Bollinger band trend. Oh man, that is right up my alley. Uh, Ryan ninety eight, very very similar to what Chad's doing. I just for it to so it wasn't confusing. Um, with you know what he calls the TLC. I just call it my price section iron condors. I was doing it a little bit different. It's it's pretty 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 similar to what he's doing though. So I've I've put together a script in in trading view which I'll I'll share with you guys. I'm just kind of I'm still kind of testing it right now but the whole the method is very similar as far as take half off at 20% then scale out at 40, 60, potentially 80. One thing I've been doing here recently is using an odd number of contracts. So I, you know, with this recent price action, I've just been, I've been taking so, so that I take a little bit more than half off at 20%. So if, if I do five contracts, I'll take three off at 20%, for example, but very similar. A little bit more down move, and I'll hit 30% on my last re entries. One DT is about, up about 4,000 bucks. Is that a 10 lot? Yep. Need 40 cents for power hour number two to hit my 20. Yeah, Ryan, I'm targeting around three bucks on each side. Iron condor. 50 wide wings, typically. I'm about 60 cents away from my one DTE hitting its first profit target. Uh, 50 butterfly trading for about a dollar 20 40 minutes to go this is the day in june that i needed uh kelvin i think um i mean normally over time i think 
the longer you leave it on, the better off you're going to be. But with the price action that we're in right now in the low vol, I've just found that taking a little more than half off at 20% has been better. But over time, I would say leaving more on longer is typically better. Like for example, in my uh, in my re-entries, you know, if you look at historically, there's you know, there's you go through the trade log, you'll see there's, you know, I I don't know off the top of my head what the numbers are, but you know, let's say there are ten or twenty percent of the days where you never re-enter because it just stays within range all day, and we just we haven't seen any of that for a long time. Meaning you better, you know, take, take your profits while you can, and then potentially re-enter, re re-enter at a different price level because this whippy low vol and whippy price mm -hmm. action. Yep. So for yeah, my, my price second... action trades, sorry, go ahead. No, go, no, go ahead. So Ryan, for my price action trades, I, d I wait for after, the I wait at least 30 minutes after the bell on those and then look for, you know, what I feel like would be potential consolidation. My second account that's been having a bad slippage more so than, than my TLC account. I, I only traded two trades in it today and uh, booked about 2,200 bucks and just said that was it. So I'm just being a little more careful so I can see some with that account because it's had some losses due to the slippage more so than my TLC account. Like you, you said, said I, I just took, took my profits. Hit 30% on my 3-2. I just hit forty percent on my A or on my power hour number one. Just hit thirty percent on my one to one. Just a little down move, beautiful little down move. Challenge portfolio is up 5% on the day. So at this point, I've benefited from not shutting it down early at 3%. I still 45 need and 50 is my sweet spot. I still need to hit 20% on my number two. And between 35 and 40 is my sweet spot on my uh, 
challenge on my re-entries. So that could use a little more down move. So 45 would be ideal. My rut hedge that expires today is not looking pretty. I'm just going to go 60% and out here with these wild swings we've had. I'm not going to try to hit 80% on a power hour trade today. Tomorrow is the 7th. So we've got pre-market, we've got some employment data. And then we've got our old friends, the Fed. We've got uh, Cook speaking at 11 a.m. Central. And next Wednesday... Got Jerome for FOMC day. And we've got that, CPI the same day. Is that the 19th? Wednesday, the 12th. Oh, darn. We've got CPI pre market and FOMC in the afternoon and then PPI the next morning. So <laughs> that should be fun. I've got that. What is that? 16th 17th and 18th or that monday tuesday wednesday the following week that's when i'll be in out of town on a baseball tournament during the week the 19th the market's closed i think that's a wednesday that, yeah it's that monday tuesday wednesday i'm out of town I'm baseball tournament up up in Omaha, where the College World Series is at. And it just hit 20% on my power hour number two. Both the S&P and the NASDAQ are just below green on the day. Still barely red. And here comes a push. Stopped out of my both of my re entries for profit. So the only thing left in my uh, 
challenge portfolio is my one DTE. Which is up twenty eight percent. Yeah, I was gonna say I got an order at nine thirty. It's right at nine thirty. It's close twenty five at twenty five percent for me. And there it got filled. So I got out of half my one DTE. So my remaining, remaining zero DTE still between 45 and 50 is going to be my ideal level. A little under 30 minutes to go. At the money 50 butterfly trading for a buck 20. Dollar fifteen, maybe. No big push ups. So if we get above fifty four, S and P will go green. Need to grab a trick, quick drink. Be back in just a minute. Needing, looking for 60% on my power hour number one. Looking for 40% on my power hour number two. It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've hit a 45% around my one DTE. Yeah. I did on a, a discretionary one, but on a normal one. Today's has been great. There's a 40 percenter.
There we are below 50. I need 40% though, so don't go too much below it. I don't really care after it hits 40%. Although if it keeps coming down, I'm going to hit 60% on my other one. Oh, yeah, I'm sitting real pretty right now. Today's been a very... It's been a picture perfect day for the reason you add a second price action iron condor. Posted my channel here. There's the my power hour number one. I'm gonna show you my number two. And here is number two. So as you can see, any direction, I'm making money. If it bounces around, I'm double happy. Only every day can look like that. Amazing what can happen when price stays within its expected move for the day. I know, oh, man. This is gonna be an over over a ten K day for me. I haven't had one of those in a while. Of course, that's counting my one DTE. My last 10K TLC day, I had a 9,275 on April 23rd. None in May? No 10Ks, not... And I'm speaking specifically specific just TLC. No 10K days in May. 9275 was the highest. I had a 9155 in April and a 1265 in April. So April 15th was my last four figure TLC day. I'm not sure what this one's going to come out to be. It probably won't be 10K, but. But it'll be 10K now that I've started doing the 1DTEs. I didn't start tracking those until like halfway through May. Sounds like it's time to double your contracts. Yeah, I've been, my TLC <laughs> account definitely <laughs> could. Yeah, Ryan, it's exactly that discretionary. So no set time. So so basically what I've what I've been doing on neutral days is is really just kind of doing doing the price action iron condors. You know, I don't I try to I don't wanna I don't want to enter when it's just pushing in one direction, but if it looks like it's starting to consolidate, that's when I would enter. I'm going to go ahead and close my one DTE. It's still at 930, which was my 25%. Just so a big move doesn't hurt it. Last 20 minutes.
So one DTE was a $3,100 winner. I needed that because yesterday this was a $2,600 loser. There's no 40 percenter. Doing 60% and out for my power hours today. I still need to hit 40% on number two, though. A little bit of an uptick to do it. Oh, well, yeah, Royals just took the lead. Uh, they got a day game today? Yeah, they got rained out yesterday. So I think it's a double header against the Indians or uh, Guardians. Nah, I just like on the Indians. Uh, it's like the eighth or ninth inning, though. They just broke. Went up 4 3. Did you see the game yesterday? Or two days ago. Yeah. yeah. We were up five three and then or and then they tied it five five. But then yeah, that error was killer. I know. It's hard to it's hard to blame him. I mean, but yeah, he was the first to take ownership of it. But he did hit two home runs in the game as well. Yeah. The guy's a beast. It's pretty, it's pretty great having the best NFL player and the best baseball player in the same city. <laughs> yes, it is nice. I am well, dead what's centered. Price, what's the price going to do the last 15 minutes here? Close to getting out of one of my power hours. At 60%, I need about 15 cents. Yep. All right, and then we just need to freeze right here. I'm out of my one DC. Better get my Mahomes ready. Put in the fifty. There we go. I'm out of my num power number one. <clears throat> At sixty percent and out. So I'm putting in a short fly at the forty five and fifty. See if one of those hits.
a little over 14 minutes to go. Just a little fade of decay or a little uptick, and I should get out of 40% of my power hour number two. That would lock in profits for sure. Madam Butterfly, Mahomes doesn't discriminate on strikes. He can win at any strike. There we go, 40% on power hour two. I'm gonna leave my last couple price action trades on until right till my butterfly's getting ready to hit two bucks. Then I'll bail if they haven't hit 80%. Yeah, no full stops today. That is nice. Nope. The 50 butterflies getting close. the MOC in about two minutes. Now come back down. VIX dropping. I need 40 cents to be 60 and out on my power hour number two. Yeah, I need to come back down to 50. So put it, I better put in a 55 fly. My number two is setting dead center. I'm glad I did the 16 out on my number one. Two hundred sixteen million sell side. It's a small MOC number. All right, so I'm gonna get out of one of these. Right, 
here. So I got one little piece of a price action left. I'm going to let that try to go to 80% on the 45 and 55 strikes. So we're pretty centered. I've got the 50 butterfly in and the 55. I'm going to have to go towards a strike for one of those to get filled. My one DTE is at 32%. Should be closing here in about four minutes. And there's 60% and out on power hour two. So I am done. Everything's closed. My two DTE just closed. Made uh, just doing a one lot test on that, but I made uh, nineteen percent. All right, we're right around fifty. Mm -hmm. Getting close to filling on my fifty fly. Ten thousand two hundred fifty for the day. Nice. So to break it down, TLC was four trades, four winners, seventy one hundred. One DT filled on my butterfly. Thirty one fifty filled on my fifty fly at two bucks. Yeah, it's nice being up 10 minutes to go. All right, one DTE is closing here shortly. Sitting at 32%. Need to move away from 50. Vertical with put kicker. That was a loser today. That was a loser for about 2,300. Interesting day today. Hit all-time highs right out of the gates, came down, came up, and then just fell off and then shot back up. All right, here comes price. Let's see if we get a quick move to fill our verticals. We do not want a 50 pin. All right, can pin at 50. It's just got to move first.
So I got four minutes. One DTE closing. In at 1230. Out at. Eight. 25 and 830. 33 percenter. That's a good one. Wow. Would you get it in that? I got it at 1240. 1230. And you got out of what? 830, 825. Just now. That's a dollar better than me. And I closed my last one up at 243. So 13 minutes ago, and you still had a dollar better than me. Sure here. Well, okay, so yeah, I was on the 15 puts, 90 calls. Yep, me too. 60 wide. And got then filled at 1240. 50, 55 puts, 50 calls or the longs. Yep, me too. Filled at 1240. Okay. So I got some good last yeah, last like the, day decay. The last like eight minutes. I didn't I wasn't getting any decay yet. I closed half at at uh, I two thirty. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't watching it close enough to know what what mine was trading at then, but yeah. So in fifteen minutes, it didn't have any decay, so I just closed it at two forty three for the same price I got at two thirty, which was nine well nine nine twenty was what I closed my last five at, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the Last one DTE E Allison is what we're talking about. Just <clears throat> under two minutes. Need to move. I think she's moving today. She's tired. <laughs> She's had a rough week. She's had a big She's week. Been all, all over the place. Vix through lows of day just now. Yep. So you get a Vix spike overnight. One minute to go. Scott Barlow pitching for the Indians. He Used to pitch for the Royals. He's good for about three walks. So my challenge portfolio ended the day up 3.93%. All right, above 52. Keep going. I need above... Uh, 53 to break even. Fifteen seconds. Get a little mark up. A little mark up on the close. There we go. Keep going. Ding, ding, ding. Basically, <laughs> almost exactly a scratch. Almost exactly a scratch. I may have lost a dollar. Not, not an option dollar, like a real dollar. All right, all. Good day. Yeah. Good, good day. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is Friday the 7th. So chat will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we will be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Cheers.